All right, welcome back. We get set for the lucky last, and we start with some free money in our second chance Cantor Bingo game. We have a bonus winner, $50 voucher. If your name is Jeff Barrowids, Jeff Barrowids of Fargo, come on down. $50 voucher from the Cantor Bingo leader right out here in Shockby, Minnesota, main level info center adjacent to the paddock. Let's take a look at the final trial here, and uh, boy, the first race much faster than race number two, so it'll be interesting to see how the qualifying goes. You could see a horse that won race two not even get in the race if these guys go fast in the third qualifier here in race 11. Of course, they're trying to qualify for the 2010 North Central Quarter Horse Racing Association Futurity where all the big money is awaiting. My pick in the race is right there, center stage on camera, number one waving by. Here comes Beef. It's what's for dinner. Tommy Wellington riding for Amber Blair. Love the connections. Love the improving form. 82 index last time out. And uh, certainly, uh, I think, a good chance to score the victory here at 4-5. to five. Number two is Gray's Endeavor. Big Gray Gelding here with first-time Lasix for trainer uh, Shane Miller. Dusty Shepard gets the assignment in the saddle. Something went amiss last time out behind Dash of Paint. That was a uh, hopping out of the starting gate with a clean break will be a much bigger factor today. Number three is Sneaky at 4-1. to one. Looks like the uh, one to fear in late stretch. It's Diva's Choice. Gus Rincon for Vic Hansen. Last time out was Stakes Place, second at 5-1 to one behind Sace at Fast. We just saw that horse win race number nine in the first of these three qualifiers. The three horse looks very good down in the paddock, not a drop of sweat, good energy, good muscle tone. And uh, I think the four right now, or the three horse at 4-1 to one might be a uh, value player up on the board. Number four, Stormer Rose, aptly named with the weather we've seen here in the last hour and a half. Stormer Rose is ridden by Derek Bell, trained by Bobby Johnson. Looked like a, a real comer two back when uh, she was second in a trial. Then in the big stakes race, she was looking good. She got out of the gate from inside, but then she uh, faded late to finish seventh. From the inside post to post number four, looks great in the paddock. Look at her out here balking, bouncing around. Look at that energy. Yeah, ride him. It's got real, a real handful for the handler there. Guy with the four is saying, come on, man, the humidity is 80%. Don't do this to me. Don't do this right now. Settle down. You can see the handler in the red hat. He's not happy. Stormer Rose is ready to roll, though. Look at this. This is a wild one. Looking good down in the paddock. Number five is Flying La Jolla. The lovely Lori Keith looking to mouse her way into the winner's circle for Vic Hansen. First time Lasix. Couple of sneaky good fourth place finishes. In fact, last time out was beaten only a neck. This horse uh, certainly fits at this level. Lori's got a big smile on her face. She's feeling good down here in the paddock. Why not? She's got a chance to upset the apple cart here at 8-1. Six is a boss lady, Vaughn for Vic Hansen. So Vicky Hansen once again has got a couple of chances for the trial. First time Lasix, second career start. Last time stuck on the disadvantageous rail. Now gets a much better post here today with that Lasix 10 to 1. And the longest shot on the board, there she goes, number seven, BHR looking for wins. Looking for wins today for Bobby Johnson. Nick Goodwin, good long shot jockey. Second time Lasix, six to one morning line set by a pro. Sources triple that. The gray filly looks like she can run, too. Exacta trifecta superfecta. I feel like I've been here for a month. It's been a pleasure, though, on this sultry Saturday afternoon to serve you as the paddock analyst. Tomorrow, Pepsi Family Day. Bring your kids. Uh, petting zoo. We've got uh, face painting. And at the end of the day, you get to have your kids go out to the track seven and under and eight and up. A couple of heats down the Canterbury stretch with Paul Allen calling the race. A Hall of Famer right out here at beautiful Canterbury Park. come for the 11th race it's nine minutes from now
starting gate. It's post time for race 11, the Jack Sampson Classic. Waving by, Gray's Endeavor. And Storm Rose have gone in. BHR looking for wins, also in. Diva's Choice, next in line. Still three behind the gate, Diva's Choice. Flying La Jolla. And a boss lady. Here comes Flying La Jolla. And a boss lady. Two to five favorite, waving by. Boss Lady goes in, ready to close Saturday at Canterbury Park. Wave and by came off okay, but then collided with Gray's Endeavor. And Diva's Choice takes advantage and jumps on the field by two. Flying La Jolla's to the outside. Wave and by recovers nicely, but not nicely enough to win. Diva's Choice fly in La Jolla. Photo finish. That's a near dead heat between five and three. Hold them all. The final time, 18.17. Final time, 18.17. We still have a photo finish. So Sace it fast heads into the NCQHRA Futurity as the fastest qualifier at 17.91. Photo sign is down. Winner five, fly in La Jolla. Second three, Diva's Choice. Third one, waving by. And fourth four, Storm Arose. Eleventh race official.
$19 for a $2 win wager on Fly in La Jolla. The 2 5 double paid $15.40. That's the late double, 2 5, 15 40. The $1 exacta paid $19, and the trifecta paid $36.20. The $1 superfecta paid $261.50, and the final $1 pick three today paid $32.50. Into the winner's circle, Flying La Jolla and Lori Keith. Flying La Jolla is owned by Brenda Reiswig and trained by Vic Hansen. Flying La Jolla is a two year old chestnut gelding by Streakin La Jolla out of Fly Me, Try Me, bred in North Dakota. Ladies and gentlemen, live racing resumes tomorrow at Canterbury at 1.30, free admission at 1.30. Don't forget to check out our newly remodeled card casino. With Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, and more, it's open right now. Otherwise, live racing tomorrow at 1.30. And if you are leaving Canterbury Park, please drive safely. Waving by came off okay, but then collided with Gray's Endeavor. And Diva's Choice takes advantage and jumps on the field by two. Flying La Jolla is to the outside. Waving by recovers nicely, but not nicely enough to win. Diva's Choice, Flying La Jolla, photo.